Hey guys, this is Drax, back with another quick tips and tricks video, and in this one we'll be looking at the blink and you miss them, Akatinas. Found all around the swamp areas and a bit in the redwoods, this is one of those teams where you actually want to get lower level ones, and I'll go on to tell you why. You want to dart in the squishy parts, best in the neck I believe, with a low powered long neck rifle, you can use a basic standard long neck. Low powered they need to be as they have very little HP and they will die if your gun is too strong. Normally it takes just one or two darts depending on their level. You will need some narcotics to keep them knocked out throughout the tame. Narc pots or berries will work. I'd also advise using spike walls whilst taming them, especially in the swamp areas to keep them protected. Tame only on vegetable cake and you will need more of this to keep them alive as that is all they eat. That means sap from tree taps you place in the redwood trees and honey that you get from the beehives. Those are the two major ingredients in these cakes. The honey best achieved by capturing queen bees after destroying their wild hives. You may need to fly or run away to deagro, then come back and tame with one rare flower. After which you convert the queen to a beehive. There will be an option on her. Then you will get a hive to place in your base. With rare flowers inside, it will produce honey over time. Use a ghillie suit or bug spray when you tame the queen and when harvesting the honey so the bees don't attack you. You probably want a few hives. If you are taming, breeding and keeping acatinas, you will need a good amount of honey. Then combine the honey with the sap and the rest of the simpler ingredients in a cooker and you have veggie cake. Place in the inventory of the knocked out snail Keep the tapor up by using narcotics and you'll soon have a snail tamed after just a few feeds. The higher level the snail, the more feeds it needs, so that's one reason to stick to the lower levels. Go around the swamp, find yourself another one, and you've got yourself a breeding pair. A few tips here. They need to be wandering to produce paste. You can weigh them down and leave them on wandering. They won't move around whilst encumbered, but will still produce paste. And this is the second reason for the low level tame as it is easier to weigh them down as they have a lower weight stat. You can breed if you have two, any two, there are no genders. And like the old Ark Evolved Dinos before they added a breed button, you just have to put them on wandering in an enclosed area so that they stay close to each other. Take the weight off of them so they can move around and they will mate and they will produce more pacemakers. Please note though that on lower server rates where babies grow slower, you may just want to go and tame more as this might use fewer cakes than breeding them. Sometimes the babies can take quite a few. Fully grown or tamed, they can make a hundred paste in about an hour, also producing organic polymer slowly, and they can store it well, so it lasts longer in their inventory. They are perfect for making cemented paste while you are out doing other things, and all you have to do is remove the paste from their inventory about every hour or so, so they can make more. You can leave them on wandering and place them in cages so that they can move around, but, but don't leave them too close to each other. Otherwise they will keep on breeding. We did this and came on the next day on our boosted rate server to find out we had quite a few extra snails to feed. If you want to load them, maybe 10 to produce a thousand pace per hour or 20 for 2000, it's probably best just to weigh them down with something heavy like stone, have a snail pen full of them, and then you can take the weight off a couple of them every time you want to breed any. You can pick them up with the interact key, E on the keyboard, and throw them by double tapping F or carry them in your arms on a mount if you need to move them around. Normally you do this just after taming. Definitely one of the best tames in game right now. Our pace production has ramped up greatly since we've had these Akatinas. Great for building some of those ascendant saddles that we wanted to build for the boss fights. There are of course other ways to get cementing paste like raiding beaver dams around the map or hitting the swamp cave with an imprinted frog. But with the ease and passive nature of Akatina paste, I would say they are a must have in Arc Ascended. So there we go guys, just a quick one there. Once again, I hope this helped you out a bit. Shed some light on our slimy friends if you didn't know fully about them. Make sure to like if you enjoyed the video, maybe found it useful in some way. Let me know if you have snails or off to tame one. And a uh, question, can you ever have enough snails? Have you got enough cake? Sub for more vids like this one and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.